Now that we've had a chance to go over many of the tools in shave and haircut, we're now going to get into a technique we call scalping, which is creating a piece of geometry to contain the hair node for your scene. All right, let's take a look at this scene here. This is a fresh scene. It's uh, lesson nine, and it's the um, guy's head here. And what we'll do is go ahead and add the shave again, same way. We'll select the quick select set. There we go. We'll go to shave, create new hair. And then for this, we'll just put the red head just so it's easy to see. There we go. Now, everything looks fine. Let's look at the guide hairs. Now, take a look at these guide hairs. Now, watch what happens where a lot of times what most people do in production, which is you take this low-res object, we'll shift, right-click, we'll go to smooth. Okay. Now, the smooth object is what will be rendered. However, take a look at our guide hairs. We quadrupled the number of guide hairs. Now, this is not a very good workflow because we've got now a number of hairs. We've got four times the number of hairs to um, go in and style. We have four times the number of hairs that are going to be in the collision when we put in dynamics. So there's just a lot more uh, extra calculations that we really don't need now that we smooth. So how can we undo that? Well, let me take it back to before we smooth it here. And I'm going to remove these two nodes, which is my hair system. So let's talk about some techniques that we can do to create a easier system than just adding them to my head and smoothing, as well as a system that will give me a little bit more portability and flexibility. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is take this head and duplicate him. Okay, now this is a character that's already bound, so after I duplicate, I'm going to go over here to my Translate X, right click and choose unlock selected okay which will allow me to move this out of the way here and i'm just going to move this five units there we go okay so now i have two heads here and i'm going to go ahead and uh, delete the history okay so uh, edit delete by type history and what we'll do from here is rename him scalp and this will just make it easier to select here in just a second so we'll go into our quick select set hair there we go and unfortunately it's going to select both sets of hair and that's okay we'll just go into this little hair node here which is our quick select set and we'll just cruise down here until we see the word scalp there it is so we'll take this one shift select this one Okay, and then while we have that selected, we'll shift, right click, and we'll go down to extract faces. Now, what this has done is give us a chip off node. Okay, so with this object selected, you can see here we've got this entire piece that we can go in and pull off and get rid of. So let's go ahead and find this piece. And I'm not for sure why it didn't chip this off. I, I'm not for sure if this is a bug, but if I extract these pieces, watch, then it all works, right? It gives me all my pieces. So maybe just a little fluke. If you have that, just extract another little piece and it will pop it right off. All right, so I'm going to take that piece here. We'll delete that. We don't need the uh, piece down at the neck. We'll delete that. We don't need this transform node. And now we can actually delete history on this little scalp. Okay, so delete by type history. Clean that up a little bit. We'll go ahead and move the scalp back to zero. Okay, and we'll unparent, shift P, and delete that scalp group node. Okay, so now we have this, this node here called polysurface3. We'll rename that scalp. Okay, so that is our brand new scalp. So what does this allow us to do? Well, first of all, we can pick this up and move it to another character if we wanted to. So we can make a library of different hairs. We could also scale this in. So if we're having some problems with the smooth version, we could scale this in or out depending on what we need for our character. It just gives us another level of control. So let's go ahead and create our um, hair on this. So we'll go to Shave, Create Hair. We'll choose Dirty Blonde since we haven't worked with it yet. There we go. Now we've got all the pieces that we want. The last thing that we have left to do is to take the scalp and connect that to one of our joints here. So let me get out of component mode. Okay, so we're probably going to connect that to the eye joint. 
or this uh, usually what we call the scalp joint. So I'll just middle click, drag and drop that right up there. So now what does that allow us to do? Well, if I'm moving my character by this joint down here, the hair system is going to move with it very quickly and I've got quick and fast updates happening. Now let's say I want to duplicate that hair system. Okay, no problem. Let me just open this up. We can take the scalp. If I duplicate this and move it over, I don't get the hair. Okay, so let me undo that. Instead, what I need to do is select that, go to Shave, Multi-Clone. Give it a second, and there is our new hair system. Okay? So that's a quick and easy way. Let me get rid of that Shave 2 hair node there. So that's a very quick and easy way of doing a technique we call scalping. Again, mainly the portability. This is very useful for dynamics. It also gives you a lot of flexibility because now we can manipulate this um, scalp geometry without actually um, working with the uh, main geometry piece here. And all we have to do is hide that and we're good to go. So uh, Shift H, uh, I'm sorry, Control H, and, and we can hide that. Let me bring this one back. Oops. Shift H to hi unhide the hairs. So we hid the scalp, but then we unhid the hair node right here. Let's close this up here, make it a little bit easier to see. Okay. So again, we can unhide that scalp. There it is. If we hide the scalp, Control H, it might hide your hair node. That's okay. Just make sure the hair node is selected and hit Shift H or capital H, and that'll get you right back where you were.